Are you hiring a professional? Do you know how to look for a professional? What do you look for? How do you know if somebody's good or not? Hey guys, Rafa here, Preferred Plumbing Solutions. So we're at a customer who did a renovation in 2019. Used the washroom, it was a washroom renovation, three piece washroom upstairs. Used the washroom about, uh, I think immediately after. Noticed a brown water stain in the ceiling. Called the contractor back, contractor, contractor, check this out. The contractor came back and said, oh yeah, it's nothing, it's probably just some spillage uh, add some water seepage from the renovation or from the work, whatever that means. Painted over the water stain in the ceiling and said, you'll be fine, don't worry about it. The homeowners continued using the bathroom, but seldomly because there's only three of them living in the house and they have another bathroom. And then noticed that brown staining coming back, but they weren't really using it much. So they didn't really notice it right away. But then this last year or so, they've really been starting to use it. And they noticed that staining again. So the homeowner, because he was misled and miseducated by the contractor, got some paint and was gonna just touch it up on his own, thinking that was somehow a solution. And then went, went up there on a ladder, touched the ceiling, the ceiling was mushy and wet, actually wet and damaged. And that's when he called us in. Um, it's just unfortunate that there's so many renovators and contractors out there that one don't have integrity and two are not professional if you're a professional you try to address the issue you take time to understand what the problem is ask the right questions and don't just run out of the job and trying to get away with things um, now he has to pay us to do an invasive leak inspection there's some other issues i noticed in that bathroom um, they're trying to sell their house they actually would have listed their house already but they didn't because of this issue so poor tradespeople, unprofessionals, create problems, create time discrepancies and loss of money. Are you hiring a professional? Do you know how to look for a professional? What do you look for? How do you know if somebody's good or not? We're always here to help guys. Give us a shout.